Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi guys, today's discussion about the welding defects and uh, what is welding defects and how it is created and how it is looks like and what is the cause so we will discuss today in this topics so we should know first welding welding what is welding welding is a material joining process which produces collapses of material by heating them to suitable temperature with or without the the application of presence or by the application of pressure alone and with or without use of ferrous metal so welding is the material of joining process this is one of the joining process and collapse of material by heating them over suitable temperature the two metal is there it is uh, heat heat to the suitable temperature and it is metal melted it may be with pressure or may be without pressure may be with filler metal may be without filler metal this is the welding definition welding is used for the making permanent joint this is very important welding is used making the permanent joint it is used in the manufacture of water mold bodies aircraft frames railway wagon machine frames structure works tank boiler general repair work and ship building so many areas we can use this one in this welding means wherever if the permanent joint is required we need the welding classification of welding processes there is so many processes is there so we have to go before welding defects we know the what are the welding and what are how many types of welding is there what are the welding processes are there so arc welding is carbon arc metal arc metal inert gas tungsten inert gas plasma arc submerged arc electro slag welding this is the arc welding so many process carbon arc is a different process metal arc is different metal inert gas is the different process so arc welding have different process and you see gas welding oxyacetylene gas welding air acetylene gas welding oxy hydrogen gas welding resistance welding how many types of resistance welding we have bar welding spot welding seam welding projection welding percussion welding thermit welding solid state welding newer welding and related process so particularly this welding defects we will discuss today about the arc welding so this is called smaw welding still that matter arc welding we will discuss today for particular when you are doing welding SMW, what type of defects is coming? So equipment in welding, what are the equipments are required for welding? A welding generator may be in DC or transformer AC. Two cable, one for work and one for electrode. One for electrode holder, that is for electrode holder and for another for cable for work, working cable. Electrode holder and that electrode is comes, uh, the cable is comes in the electrode holder. So electrode, electrode holder, protective shield is required, gloves is required, wire brush is required, chipping hammer is required and the goggles is required. This is the equipment is required for doing the welding. This is the basic idea of arc welding equipment. If you go welding machine, you see here AC or DC power source and controls. This is AC and DC. One is going to the this cable is going to the electrode cable you see here one is electrode cable another is work cable so machine is coming under one is plus one is positive and negative and this one is coming to the work cable and one is coming to the electrode cable electrode cable and its hand electrode holder is there is an electrode holder it's attached here electrode and the arc is created and this is work so this is the general funda of the arc welding equipment Arc welding uses an electric arc to collapses of material. Arc welding is the most common method of the welding metals. So wherever you are going, if you if you see the most important boiler, pressure bezel, heat is always use the SMW. Electro electricity travels from electrode to base metal to ground. So electricity travels from how it is travel electrode to base metal, then base metal to ground. It is the terminology you see here well terminology fillet will terminology how it is look like it is called throat this is called leg length it's mentioned here you can understand the face and two so heat affected zone joint and the weld root it's a heat affected zone is already clearly mentioned here if it's a group well terminology you see backing is there sometimes if it is required backing it's not required backing as per the wbs old root root spacing joint root heat affected zone is mentioned by the uh, uh, marking of the point, reinforcement, the face and toe. This is the oil terminology. It is very important what is why um, what are the where it is called face, where it is called toe, what is the reinforcement. So in what why we need this one? Because there is a limitation of there for every terminology, face and toe, everything. 
types of joints there are five types of joint is what left p h and corner if you go sm w there is a uh, so these five types of joining we can bar holding t holding corner holding edge holding lap holding fillet and groove welds you see groove and fillet oil can be made on many types of joint bar oil fillet no groove you see groove t is fillet t joint you can use the fillet t can you can use the groove corner fillet you can use fillet group you can use the group so this is the different types types of joint when you are configure configure a joint so that time you have to prepare joint as per this if there is a corner joint is maybe it's fillet maybe group welded so it's not an uh, that requirement of uh, corner joint so you can go to the group joint so we have to we have to do the preparation of group is like this it's mentioned here lab joint you see here lab joint so lab joint it may not cannot be group you see not applicable so now is coming to the main, main defects are there for cement of loop welding flag inclusion undercut porosity incomplete fusion overlap underfill spatter excessive convexity excessive oil reinforcement incomplete penetration and excessive penetration all these defects have their own limitation as per every every uh, code and standard if you go ask me six code division uh, section eight division one there is a requirement is different if you go different codes every codes has a different requirement as per the depends upon the process depends upon the industry if you will go one by one first is slag inclusion you see slag inclusion how it is look like it is slag is there uh, when you are doing the welding, the flag is covered to the welding because of the oxidation or prevent the suitable, prevent the uh, better arc to stable the arc. Cause is uh, flag inclusion, how it is coming, why it is flag inclusion is coming, cause is low MPD, improper technique, slow travel rate. If it is slow travel rate, improper technique means if it is DCP, DCEN, you have to choose the which uh polarity you are using this improper technique is there then maybe slag inclusion may be may become low amperage if the amperage is low then slag inclusion so prevention increase amperage increase travel rate so what is the prevention how will prevent increase if it is increase the amperage then and increase the travel rate then this it will not happen the slag inclusion low amperage what will happen the low amperage the arc will be stick there and when you are doing the next run, the next run that flag, if it is not removed properly, then flag inclusion will be there. So you have to you have to use your amperage as per the WP is the correct WP. You increase amperage and increase travel rate. If you are thinking that WP is not correct, if something is happening, it's not used as per WPS. If you are using also same thing is happening, so you have to need to requalify again. Repair how you repair remove by grinding or the mechanical process. You have to need the flag remover. You see undercut how it is look like. You see undercut here. So how it is got high ampere. If the ampere is high, if the current is too much, then the parent metal will be melted. Then when the parent metal will be melted, then it will be called undercut. It's it can be seen the undercut high ampere wrong electrode angle if it is electrode angle is wrong and the long arc length rust if it is rust is there then undercut also will become so prevention set machine on scrap metal to correct parameter clean metal before welding so undercut we have to use the scrap metal and we have to do welding there with the as per the wps and you have to set the correct parameter in clean metal that we are doing the welding as for the WPS and it is coming the sound holding, before holding the main job. So we have to check this one. This is the prevention and repair. How to repair? Weld with smaller electrode sometimes must be low hydrogen with preheat. So this type of, we have to fill this material. We have to fill this area with low hydrogen electrode and with preheat. So after that, we have to grind it and we have to make smooth there. This is undercut. You see porosity how it is looks like porosity this porosity is looks like that anyway porosity is not mentioned here what is why it is coming like that it is uh, if it is a cause is mainly because of the electrode 
uh, storage area if it is electro storage is not good electrode is rampage electrode is there then you can see there the porosity will be come here also if you if your current and voltage is not proper and if you are not using the proper uh, tent on that particular weld area then definitely porosity will come because the air it should be covered if it is using the low heading electrode you have to cover this uh, weld area so this is cause how to so you have to prevent the weld area also use you use your uh, electrode it is a proper suitable electrode with uh, not damage electrode and you have to store it in the properly incomplete fusion you see cause is low amperage sleep electrode angle fast travel speed short arc cap lack of preheat electrode too small and clean base metal or arc of seam so cause low amperage if it is there then low amperage means amperage is very low so how you can melt so it incomplete fusion will be created sleep stiff electrode angle electrode angle stiff fast travel speed travel speed is very fast then how it will not be melted your base metal so electrode if it is fast travel speed short r gap if it is r gap is very short then electrode will not be then the base metal will not be melt so how it is this prevention eliminate the potential causes so you have to eliminate the potential causes whatever you have to bear as per wbs if it is low ampere then problem we have to maintain the proper ampere is there repair remove and reweld remove we have to remove incomplete fusion is a the must be removed and well being careful to completely remove the defective area so being completely you have to remove the defective area and you need to redo the welding so this is the incomplete fusion overlap how it is look like you see overlap how it is looks like cause improper welding technique means it's not maybe skill older older is not skill so a uh, definitely it's overlap maybe it's not going in the correct area so it's coming from the overlap will become first double speed double speed if it is part then it will go to the uh, it is not control in the welder so it goes to the overlap prevention overlap is a control problem over holding technique will prevent the problem so overlap if you do you have to smooth the overlap and you have to check uh, the as per the wb that is coming and so you have to remove the excess overlap and proper welding technique will be prevent this problem so you have to use the proper welding technique also in the skill welder unit underfill see underfill how it looks like underfill cause this improper welding technique same thing is there improper welding technique is there prevention apply proper welding technique for the weld type and position so depends upon weld type which type of weld you are using here and position which position you are doing welding so you have to you have to check very carefully for this one use stripper bits before the cover part so stripper bit use so before the cover part Spatter. This is a very very common problem in the older in the SMW. You see, cause high arc power, magnetic arc flow, damp electrode. If you use the damp electrode and the magnetic arc flow is there, the high arc power, then call it will come the spatter. So how to prevent? Reduce arc power, reduce arc length, use dry electrode. So these three things we have to reduce arc power. If it is arc part is more, then it will come to the arc spatter. Arc length, if it is too much, then it will become also spatter. If then reduce, then it will be okay. If it is more, then it will be spatter. Use dry electrode. Dry electrode use as per the manufacturer recommendation. Repair, remove by mechanical process. So you have to use remove the mechanical process. So this is repair how you uh, how you have to do. Excessive convexity. You see, causes amperage and travel speed. If it is amperage in table speed, it's not the big control, then excessive convexity will come. How it will come in the convex? You see V. It's looking like V. Prevention of the proper parameter and technique. If it is the amperage and table speed is so fast or so slow, then it's this type of occur will become. Repair must blend smoothly into the base metal of the proper parameter. So we have to use the proper parameter and technique. Amperage and table speed is the cause, main cause. Same excessive concavity, amperage and table speed is the main amperage and cobalt speed we have to maintain. If you not maintain, you have to see this type of concavity is coming. C, like C, it is prevention of the proper parameter technique. Same repair must blend smoothly, smoothly into the base metal. Also, it is the you see here the control, it is not control in the older. You see how it is looks like the older means it's not the skill older. 
If it is not also skill holder, definitely amperation troubleshoot cannot be controlled. Excessive oil reinforcement. So if it is excessive oil reinforcement, how it is happening? Cause what are the cause? Travel speed is slow. So if it is travel speed is too slow, then means oil deposited metal is too, too more. Then it comes some excessive oil reinforcement is more. The amperage also too low, the same thing will happen. The prevention how it is say travel speed and amperage on step plate. First we need to use in the step plate in the WPS. Before you start in the WPS or before you doing the welding, in the final job we should always do that because we don't know the machine is machine also you have the calibration but we need to start this scrap plate that travel speed and amperage is okay repair how to repair remove excessive reinforcement and feather the oil goes into smooth transition to the base plate so we have to check the how much is requirement reinforcement after that we have to remove that one and there is a feather we have to smooth feather oil to a smooth transition of the base plate incomplete penetration all this low amperage if it is amperage is low then the well base metal will not be penetrated means will not be fusion then it it cannot be penetrated then incomplete that's why called incomplete penetration low amperage low preheat tight root opening root opening is very tight then it is very small then we cannot as per the wps if you meant if it is required 2 mm if we are doing 1 mm then how it will be penetrated so you need to do as per the wps how much and you have to use the correct amperage here first travel speed if it's travel speed is first then it cannot be penetrated also the root so prevention how to be prevent correct the contributing factor so what are the contributing factor is there amperage free heat root opening first travel speed all will be the in control it all will be the in control as for the wp repair back gauge and back hole so how you will repair you have to back gauge this one and again you need to back hold. Excessive penetration, penetration with excess penetration. You see, excessive penetration is the same thing. If you go the, if you go the, this is incomplete penetration. If it is excessive penetration, means amperage is high, high preheat, root opening is more, fast travel speed is the low travel speed and the short arc in the high arc. So these things always incomplete penetration comes from the low amperage. If it is the more amperage, more preheat, what will happen? The same excessive penetration will be there. So, always we have to use the income penetration, the proper parameter we have to use. So, I think from this basic welding defect, welding defect we already discussed today. This is a very important welding defect and uh, how it, what is the cause and how it will prevent. Well, this is the basic idea of the uh, some of the welding defects of the SMW welding. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. And you see, you can hear uh, the link here. You can directly go to the link and you can find out so many videos are there. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.